Hi, welcome. I'm so excited to share with you some fundamental core exercises that you can do at home that you don't need any special equipment for. I've got here a stack of some hand towels that I'm going to use. If you have a big bath towel, that will be helpful, um, but you don't even need that. This is just for some extra support if you'd like it, and it's generally something that everybody has in their homes. So let's get started and let's do some core work. Are you ready to work on your core? Let's get started. What I've done is I've folded up two little hand towels and I put them under the small of my back, underneath my sacrum. And that's just because I have some chronic issues down there and I need to some extra support. So if you find that you have some low back pain, it's a really good idea. Just take a towel, roll it up, or stack some towels under there just to elevate and support your lower back a little bit. Um, these are issues that I have in my SI region. So if you have something similar, please support your back. From here, our shoulder blades are down. My crown of my head is reaching away from me, but I'm relaxed across my collarbones. I'm just going to warm up by bringing one leg up into a tabletop position, and then I'm gonna bring my other leg up to meet it. From here, I'm going to toe tap. six times on each side. The first thing that we're going to do is we're just going to lie down on our mat. Your feet are hip distance apart and I want you to have connection with all five toes on either side, the balls of your feet and the heels of your feet. I want you to think about creating space in your neck. So not necessarily stressing your neck out, but bring your shoulder blades down away from your neck. Your pelvis right now, I want you to rock it. So you're rocking your, your, along your sacrum, the back, your tailbone is lifting, you're rocking up, and then you're gonna rock down. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. We're just warming up the abdominal region. We're telling our body it's time to work. Notice while you're doing this, do you feel any strain or tension in your body? How are your legs? How's your abdomen? Are you able to create more space across your collarbones? Excellent, now find your neutral. The first thing we're going to do is a little bit of an abdominal roll. So I want you to imagine your shoulder blades are reaching away from you, your hands are reaching away from you so much that you're lifting your head. So you're just going to arch your head up slightly. So inhale to prepare, exhale, and you're lifting. You're not losing your space between the chin and the chest. And then you're rolling those vertebrae back one at a time and your shoulder blades are not raising up. Inhale to prepare, exhale. If this is too much strain for your neck, if you're just beginning, take your hand towel, place it behind your back so that it's supported. That wasn't very good. Place it behind your back. If you need more support, you can use your hand towel. What I've done is I've taken a regular hand towel and I've put it behind my back. 
I can grab the top corners. This is actually really good for everyone to teach you how to keep your head in alignment. Inhale to prepare. Exhale and lift. Inhale down. Notice I'm not arching my back. I'm only using my abs to roll me up in this position. From here, we're going to move on. We're going to include our arms in this motion. So we're going to exhale, inhale, and have your shoulder blades roll down your back. Inhale to prepare, exhale. The next, sec the next exercise we're going to do for our core strengthening is called the single leg stretch. We're going to come up into our half roll. You're going to pull one knee towards you and think opposition. Reach your other leg away from you and really stretch. One, two, three, four, five. Six, lift your chest up higher. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Bring both knees in. From here, we're going to do a double leg stretch. One, two, three. If your neck is getting sore, put it down. Five, six, seven, eight. Now we're gonna do a straight leg. So one, two, three. Reach through your feet. Four, five, six, seven, eight, tuck it in. From here, interlace your hands behind your head. Go back to the idea of doing a single leg stretch, except for now we want to bring your shoulder, not your elbow, to the opposite knee. So one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight. Bring it in, put your head down, roll back and forth. Great job. The last thing we're gonna do to start to strengthen our core here, we're going to do some bridges. So I want you to reach your tailbone away from you, bring your shoulder blades down. I want you to imagine your ribs are staying connected with the mat. Inhale to prepare, exhale. Roll your pelvis, reaching it away from you, up until you hit around the bottom of your shoulder blades. So my ribs aren't coming up like that. I'm in opposition between my head and my tailbone. Inhale at the top, exhale. I want you to roll back down one vertebrae at a time. Inhale. Exhale as you roll up.
Good job. Let's stretch that out a little bit. Bring both knees to one side. Your ankles and your knees are together. Face the other direction. Come back to center. Let the knees go the other way. Bring your head to the other side. Come back to center. You did it! Core strengthening, very easy.